Brand new video from Sky Action News Jack shows the severe damage left behind from a house fire here in Middleburg overnight. Just take a look. It was gutted. Firefighters found one person dead inside. Action News Jax has been on the story since 6 o'clock this morning when we brought you these pictures of firefighters in action. Action News Jax Alicia Tarancon is live right now in Middleburg. Alicia, the state fire marshal is trying to figure out how this deadly fire started. Don and Phil, we just talked with the state fire marshal about 10 minutes ago, and they say this fire is still under investigation. Now, right now, they tell us that it's a total loss, and we want you to take a look at that damage. They say that it also appears that it doesn't appear to be suspicious at this time. If you look over to the right, we noticed that this building was actually still smoldering at that time, and you could just see the amount of damage here, uh, just pieces of charred wood and the roof almost gone. Neighbors tell us that they saw flames raging through the roof earlier this morning. Sky Action News Jacks flew over the damaged home to give us a closer and aerial vantage point. The fire tore through the mobile home. You can see the damage from front to back. When we first got to the scene about an hour and a half ago, investigators had part of the Candlewood Court roped off. There were two Clay County crime scene units on scene, and investigators with the state fire marshal were taking photos. Clay County Emergency Management tells us that when there's a fatality or a suspicious fire, they call out the fire. Fire Marshal. One neighbor we spoke with next door says she saw the flames and says she was afraid that it was going to spread. When we came outside and seen it was it was pretty high. I mean I'm not a good judge of height, but it the whole house was completely engulfed. We were I mean we were scared. We didn't know, you know, what had happened, how it had happened. Now, several neighbors we spoke with said that there's a man who lived, who lived in that mobile home, but at this point, we are working to confirm his identity. I'm reporting live in Middleburg, Alicia Tarancon, CBS 47, Action News Jack.